Welcome to Emila Online Tutorial. And before us today is a question in linear expansivity that we need to solve. <coughs> and it says that a density glass bottle contains 44.25 gram of a liquid at zero degree centigrade and 42.02 gram at 50 degrees centigrade. Calculate the re cubic expansivity of the liquid if the linear expansivity of glass equals to this. All right, here we have a formula for the re cubic expansivity to be R equals to the re cubic, I mean, the cubic expansivity then plus the apparent cubic expansivity. This is the re cubic expansivity, apparent cubic expansivity. No, the re cubic expansivity, then the cubic expansivity and the apparent cubic expansivity. So here, let us find this first. We know that the formula for this is a uh, three alpha, where alpha is uh, our linear expansivity. So here we have that uh, 3 times 1.0 times 10 raised to the power minus 5. So this will be 3.0 times 10 raised to the power minus 5 per Kelvin. Okay? Now let us now look for this. Now this will be the max expel then over mass remaining let me just put it raised to power r then change in temperature okay now here we have the max expelled here will now be this the mass of water at this temperature minus mass of water here at 50 degrees so here we have a 44.25 minus 42.02 then over the mass remaining, the mass of water remaining, which is uh, 42.02, then times the temperature change. Okay. All right. So, by such, this minus this will give us 5 minus 2 here will give us 3. 2 minus 0 will give us 2.4 minus 2 here will give us 2. 4 minus 4 is 0. Then this this times this 50 minus uh, 0 is 50 then times the whole of this it should give us 2101 all right if you probably if you punch it on your computer you should have that now at the end of the day here we have that this divided by this this should give us about uh using your calculator and coming let me punch it okay all right so this will be 1.06 times 10 raised to power minus uh, three okay now let us come back to this okay so here we have this is giving us this 3.0 times 10 raised to power minus 5 then plus 1.06 times 10 raised to power minus 3 okay so we can change this index to to conform to be in similar term with this here we have uh, 0 0.003 here yeah, times 10 raised to power minus uh, 2 minus 3 yeah, plus 1.0 times 10 raised to power minus 3 okay sorry this should be 3 here yeah. so with this now we have 0 0.03 plus 1.0 Zero six then into times ten raised to power minus three. So here we have one point zero nine times ten raised to power minus three. All right, this is our final answer. Okay, if we've learned something here, kindly share this video to your loved ones. All right, thank you and God bless you.